Hey guys, it's me, Storm. And I just want to do another, like, chill video and kind of talk to you guys about my channel and what direction it's going in. Because I don't even know what direction it's going in yet. Um, <clears throat> but I'm starting to get a really good idea. Um, I was going to go with empathy and talking about what it is and narcissism, but, like, it really seems like... That topic is very well covered um, here on YouTube and I don't even know if I want to get into the conversation about what I think an empath is or what I think a narcissist is even though I feel that I have a very good understanding of what they are. Um, that might be something that I'll talk about later because like I'm just getting out of a bad relationship with a narcissist and like I just feel like if I talk about it, it's just gonna make me think about it. It's gonna make me more miserable. It's gonna make me more bitter. And like, I don't wanna be those things. Like, I just wanna let let it go and move on with my life, which is like ultimately what everyone wants to do, right? So I re have renamed my channel here and I have renamed it um, The Hedonistic Approach. Now, the, I'm wearing this color right now already, but I'm just gonna, like, redo it so you guys can see it. Because I got this set of, like, I thought, what better to do than another video on Bite Beauty because I love these little, um, crowns. These little lipstick crowns so much. So, it came in a set called the Millennial Pinks. And I was like, oh my god, I gotta get that. That's so me. Maybe that's what I should call my channel. The Millennial Pinks. Like, remember from Greece? They were called the Pinks. The Millennial Pinks. Let me turn down this Fortnite before I get copyright infringement or something. So, um, even though I do have the Empath Empowered website, Which I'm going to move forward with. But, um, the... <clears throat> where I host my website. Which is called the wealthyaffiliate.com. Now... I have mixed feelings about them thus far, but, um, you can host 10 different websites on there at once, okay? So, I feel like if you're really utilizing the fact that you can host 10 different websites on there at once, drink some water. You'll be really maximizing, you know, what you get back from it. Um, also, definitely, if you take the lessons, which I haven't taken all of them, I've only taken, like, the first ten. So, I feel like I can't really be like, well, you guys didn't teach me anything because I haven't really been actively trying to learn there. But that's where I host my websites, and I can host ten different domains. So, right now, I have three to Empath Empowered. I think I'm gonna just put them to the side right now and reopen a new one called The Hedonistic Approach, where I will also discuss hedonism and in hedonism also talk about Taoism because my dad's name is Tao and he just passed away um, a year and a half ago about and I want to start a podcast called Tao Talk but first thing I'm going to do is get some WD-40 for this chair oh my gosh the squeaking is making me so angry and it's making me not want to make videos because it's squeaking and it's annoying but I ordered some and it's on the way. So the squeaking will be taken care of soon. Now, hedonism is the idea that as long as you're doing, the purpose of life is to seek pleasure and find pleasure and have pleasure, right? So like a lot of people hear that and I think it's a very um, like selfish thing uh, and it is is a very selfish thing but i believe that we can be selfish i just smacked my mic and you guys probably heard that 
I believe that we can be selfish and it's okay to be selfish and that we even should be selfish and it's okay to be selfish and we should seek out pleasure as often as possible like why not why not do something that makes you feel good makes like I feel like so often in society you know there's there's a, a alternative solution to something where both parties could feel good and instead of that happening like either one or both parties end up deciding to keep fighting or keep feeling bitter or keeping angry instead of just doing what feels good to them naturally and listening to their instincts and their guts like not just empathetic people have instincts and guts other people have them too and i just feel like they're not really developed because society has tried to suppress that and so many people to make them more easy to manipulate and easy to take advantage of and easy to brainwash speaking of brainwashing how do you like this color i got it for sale i was totally brainwashed into buying it i know but i love it things that my dad used to say all the time was why can't we all just get along why can't we all just get along like he just went out of peace you know even though he definitely contributed to the craziness of my life <laughs> Um, that was his thing. And that's my thing now, too. Like, but I actually implement it. Like, I actually stay away from negativity. And I actually don't feed into it. And I actually don't allow it into my life anymore. And I, uh, I have taken control of that in my own life and I feel like I have control of everything that I have control of in my life and I accept that control and um, I deal with things accordingly. I was, if I picked up the same one, I was gonna say, why do I keep picking up the same one? Or are they all just the same color? We'll see. Yeah, the other one was definitely much more pinky, pinkish. So, if you guys want to say anything about hedonism, hedonism or Taoism, let me know what you think. That one is called Nonina. is called virgin decory i know it looks like i use this but i just didn't open it properly from the package i'm going by swatches pretty quick because i realized i already talked the first 10 minutes of this video away and i've been literally waiting to swatch these like on camera <laughs> Wow, this is like the same color as my lip. Oh my gosh, I found my new color lipstick, guys. Wow. It is seriously like... Okay, once I kind of get it on there, it's not as much, but... Pretty color. Oh. A little piece of like weird lipstick came off of it, but it's just the tip of it. That is actually a pretty color. Like, I kind of am digging it. I'm not gonna get rid of it at least. I like it enough to not get rid of it. And there's one more left that I have to swatch. Virgin Daiquiris. There's actually three more I left after swatch, but I'm only gonna do one more in this video because I want to keep this video short and sweet. Like me. I'm 5'4, I'm not that short. This is the one that I must have tried on myself before being here with you guys. 
at some point because it's kind of jacked up looking. This one's called Party Punch. So while you guys are here, definitely subscribe. I know people with PUA related things, any questions, like just let me know. I don't know, I'm thinking that might be the first one that I did. I'm gonna just put this one on again just in case and I'll edit it out. That's not the right one. This is the version tattoos. I'm looking for Pink Paloma. Pink Paloma. This is a really pretty color though. I like all these colors a lot. I think this whole set was like 20 bucks, but they're definitely like small, small ones. But I like red collections a lot. This is my favorite color lipstick. But it has to be a right color red, like, if I get too red, it's looking like, I don't know, it makes me look well washed out. Oh, guys, I think this is the one we didn't do. put this on because it's pretty well thank you guys so much for coming in here and watching my video um subscribe like um read my description it probably has some links in it for my other social media um if it doesn't then just subscribe and leave a comment and tell me what you think about my idea about hedonism okay bye